Welcome to 9601 Oak Pass Road located in Beverly Hills, California. Designed by Noah Walker in 2015, this architectural gem has six bedrooms, 10 baths, and comes in at over 10,000 square feet between the main and guest homes. Tucked away into the hillside on almost four acres of land, the property is complete with 130 oak trees, walking trails, and truly redefines indoor-outdoor living. Asking price is 32 million, come on in. The minute you walk into the foyer, you're already enveloped with the surroundings of the land and the mountains and the trees beyond. And from almost every vantage point, you actually see the oak trees around you. So they truly become part and parcel of the residence. This is Noah Walker's most well-known accomplishment to date, and he's won numerous accolades for this particular home. Reason being that it really brings in an old world charm of the 1960s mid-century modern into today's standards. Meaning you have tons of glazing around, doors and windows all completely and seamlessly open and integrate into the structure. They've made all the walls sliding. So you have tons of Fleetwoods dotting the whole property. This provides not only an integration with nature, but also fantastic opportunity for entertaining and an incredible indoor, outdoor California lifestyle. What we have here is an exceptional gourmet kitchen, which once again takes full advantage of the gorgeous views around you. One of the best highlights of the home is this Fleetwood window, which at the touch of a button opens up and provides an incredible vantage point of your surroundings. And everything is beautifully integrated into the millwork of the kitchen, where you can have the professional grade appliances and keep the architectural integrity of the house. We've got a substantial island with a breakfast bar. There's also a breakfast nook that overlooks the grounds. One of the most incredible amenities, in my opinion, in the kitchen is an indoor pizza oven that's actually wood burning. You rarely see these inside a home and they actually use natural wood from the surrounding grounds to heat the pizza oven and you've got fresh pizza nightly. For those amazing pizza and pasta nights, you've got two temperature controlled wine refrigerators integrated into your kitchen island. So you can have easy access to your wine right here. In addition to that, we've actually got the fantastic pot filler that's kind of a one-stop shop. And then voila. I charge extra for making pasta, but I'll do it for free today. The formal dining room was designed for entertaining as well as drama. So what they have here is all the wood from the wood burning fireplace, which is behind us. In addition to having a serving console behind the formal dining table. That anchors the room architecturally, but in addition to that offers fantastic functionality when entertaining guests. What the architect attempted to accomplish and did very well is you've got a very formal space inside the home and with a slide of a door, you can actually have dinner, lunch, breakfast, outside. As you come out here to the dining terrace, you've got this beautiful several hundred year old oak tree cantilevered over the lap pool. It provides a beautiful backdrop and focal point of the property. You can entertain here, live here, and enjoy the backyard. The formal entertaining areas of the house are actually anchored by this beautiful fireplace, which bifurcates the formal dining room from the formal living room and has a really beautiful, serene, zen-like Japanese aesthetic to it and it's a beautiful and dramatic backdrop to your formal entertaining parties. What we'd call the formal living room is anything but formal. Everywhere you turn, you've got accessibility to something of beauty, of nature, and that's really, really organic. As I said initially when we walked in, one of the hallmarks of the home is this exceptionally large glazing. So throughout the home, we're going to see these doors that completely open up and disappear, where you're truly one with all your surroundings. So the focal point of the grounds is really this organically shaped pool. It provides a great backdrop for entertaining, living, lifestyle, and lots of family fun in the summer and spring here. We've got a jacuzzi on the other side, which is great for the cold evenings. And then in addition to that, you've got access to the sitting area and the outdoor dining space as well. The entire backyard is enveloped in these beautiful oaks. And then you've got the beautiful feel and sound of the water, which is so tranquil beneath the huge oak tree behind us. It truly is the quintessential California backyard and great for the LA lifestyle. 
the architect named the house the upside down home. Reason being that most of the square footage is actually integrated to the hillside below grade, which means the entertaining and public rooms are above and then all the bedrooms are down below and exposed to the outside. This is the central atrium that sits between the two secondary bedrooms and the master bedroom. So if you peek in, it actually feels like you're outdoors and you're on the main level with the house. However, it's actually subterranean. Let's go downstairs and check it out. So what we've got downstairs is a really functional living space. This is a family den, an entertainment area that's really a little more private and subdued from the one we've seen upstairs. You've got the TV, you've got the beautiful paneled cabinetry and millwork, and then we've got this sensational wine cellar, the span of the rear wall. The house can hold about 920 bottles of wine between the lower level and the upper wine refrigerators. One of the reasons the lower portion is so light, bright, and airy is because we have these fantastic skylights throughout the property. That really provides an indoor-outdoor feel, even though you are subterranean. We're actually going to pass by the atrium, which we saw from up above earlier on. The architect once again brought in the indoors and outdoors into one space. You've got a central fire pit, these doors make up a full wall of glass on either side, and then they meet right at an angle here, which was actually quite difficult to achieve. And once it's open or closed, it just adds a beautiful dramatic element to the home. We'll start with the sleeping quarters here. These huge steel doors pivot out. There's hiking trails that start right outside of the master bedroom on both sides. It really is a complete game changer for the house and the way you live. The master bedroom really feels like a tree house. It's cantilevered above all these beautiful trees. You've got really old eucalyptus, oak trees throughout the property. And when you come out onto your terrace, whether it's in the morning, at night, in the afternoon, you do get enveloped in all this greenery, which really provides a beautiful atmosphere for the home. We've got dual sinks here. And then really one of the most fun features is you've got a tub that sits within the shower. You've got this incredible rain shower head that is like a waterfall. And then no house in Beverly Hills is complete without an incredible walk-in closet. And once again, all the elements and the wood and the finishes in the closet are in keeping with the elements throughout the house. Originally it was designed to be part of the master bedroom, a retreat, could be a nursery, a sitting room for the master bedroom. What they've done here is envision this as an office. Once again, you've got doors that open up to the outside. You open the door and then you've got this incredible access to nature, greenery, beautiful fresh air, and four acres of trails around you. Down the corridor, we've got two additional secondary bedrooms and the continuity of all three bedrooms between the master and the two secondary bedrooms is this fantastic path that unites all of them. So it starts where the master bedroom is on one wing of the lower level and then ends up here, feeding right into the hiking trails that take you up to the motor court. The lower level of the home is divided into two sections. We saw the family and living quarters of the house. Now we're gonna go into the guest quarters and the more uh, casual area, which includes the gym. Once again, you've got fantastic outdoor space. You've got a little bit of a larger balcony right off of the gym area. It could be used for working out. And then once you're done at the gym, you have this beautiful spa-like bath here. You've got a fantastic shower, and then you've also got a dry sauna. The home has a fully integrated guest house under roof. The guest house has its own living area, a little kitchenette there, and then we've got the beautiful bedroom down here. They've got a self-contained laundry facility. This is one of four washers and four dryers in the house. In addition to under roof guest quarters, we've actually got a 2,000 square foot guest house, which I'm gonna take you to see right now. We've arrived at the guest house. 
They integrated this really unique barn style structure into the more contemporary angular structure of the house. The barn is designed as a multi-purpose room. It's acoustically sound. It's great for music, great as an art studio, great as a really casual family area. We're gonna walk in the more contemporary portion of the guest house. They carried a lot of the organic elements of the main residence in here. So you've got concrete floors, you have this really lovely streamlined kitchen, but the focal point is always the integration of indoor and outdoor. And once you come out here on the huge terrace, you have an incredible vantage point and you're completely immersed in the greenery of the lot. As you come upstairs, you've got what would count as the master bedroom. You've got a secondary guest bedroom with beautifully appointed baths, laundry facility, which is specific to the guest house. And then once again, we've got decking with incredible panoramic views of all the hills around us. Noah Walker's 9601 Oak Pass Road. With its lush green and indoor outdoor features, sunken living quarters and guest house, and vast walking trails, it's truly one of the most beloved properties built in the last decade, and it could be yours for $32 million.